In this video, I'll show you how to scan on your PC computer. Now, what you need to know, and this doesn't matter which uh, brand you have, you need to connect your printer that has the scanner to the same Wi-Fi network as your PC computer. If you don't want to use the Wi-Fi of your printer, you can always use a USB cable that is USB to printer connection like this one. I'll put a link in the description. Once the printer is connected to the same Wi-Fi or it's connected using a cable on your PC to add it, you need to click the Windows logo that is usually located down below or on the corner of your screen. Then go ahead and select the settings. Select on the left side Bluetooth and devices. And then if you go slightly down over here, you're going to select printers and scanners. If your printer is connected using a cable, you're going to see it appearing over here and it may say install driver where you need to click. But many times the driver will install itself once you connect the printer using a USB cable. If your printer is connected to your Wi-Fi network, the same as your PC, you'll need to click add device. It will search for all the printers connected currently to your Wi-Fi. All right, you see a few of them, maybe you, you will just have one. Click add device and the printer will be added to your PC. Now, how do you scan? First of all, input the paper in your scanner. And if your printer has one of these scanner glass, you simply need to take it, put it facing down. And now you're going to notice on one of the corner of the scanner, you're going to have an icon. Sometimes it's an arrow. Sometimes it's like a triangle kind of thing. This HP printer has um, the icon over here. You see, it's like, I don't know how to call it, but anyway, a corner. It simply tells you that the paper corner needs to be touching that corner. So it's a line. All right. You see, this is how you put the paper on your scanner glass. If your printer has a automatic document feeder on the top, you simply need to open these flaps, then take your stack of paper, put it facing up with the top part of the page towards the left and simply glide it over here. So you have two different options there or there, depending which model you have on your PC. You need to find the search bar again. Sometimes it's here. Sometimes it's on the left side and you're going to type scan. It will search for the scan app. This over here, many PC comes included with this app. You don't have to download it. It's made by Microsoft. If your PC computer does not have it, don't worry, just open the Microsoft store, then go on the top, type scan. And the one that you need to download is the Windows scan. Again, it's free. It's made by Microsoft, so you don't have to worry. So let me open the app since I have it. Source, if you leave it to auto, the printer will try to detect where you have put your paper and will scan there. So if you have put in the normal scanner or the top one, if you prefer uh, telling the, um, the printer directly, you can select, uh, let's say, a uh, feeder in my case. You have file type, by default is PNG, but most people will prefer using JPEG if it's a picture or PDF if it's a text document with some images. Then you can click show more and you'll be able to select if you want the scan to be in color or black and white. The resolution is also important. Um, if you're scanning something with fine details, select the highest number. At the end, you're going to have save file to, and this is where you need to select in which folder you want the results to go in. Press the scan icon and it will take a few seconds. And this is about it. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.